what's going on y'all so look i really wanted to put this separate um for my what it is video because i could have put it in there but it's just an unfortunate situation that's been going on in my city y'all know i'm in chicago born and raised never left but my city just been getting such a bad rep lately and it's our own fault okay or some of the people that's in it fault and i say that because it went from cops unjustly killing us to us killing each other and you know when people speak about oh you want to talk about police brutality but when we bring up black on black crime or you know when we bring up the crime that we commit against our own in our own community oh that's not what it is and that's this yes we need to talk about both because both of them are running rampant because if the cops ain't killing us bitch we killing each other okay especially out here in chicago you know you literally at this point and i'm not saying all neighborhoods are like this because in just about every city or whatever you have a bad place or whatever and it's not even a whole city but it's getting some more attention now because in the past few days weekend or whatever we have some kids get shot and killed you know a girl 11 years old was in the car with her mom waiting for her mom to come out outside her work and the van that they was in get shot up straight bullet um come back sh hit her in the head she wind up dying tuesday night then we get the young girl with her boyfriend his two-year-old nephew in the car she's facebook living, you know vibing out to some music or whatever and some bullets just come spraying the car the nephew gets killed so does the guy you know and she also gets shot in the stomach mind you she's four months pregnant okay and what disgusted me about that whole situation besides the fact that a child an innocent child who has yet to begin to experience the joys and the ups and downs of life he lost his life but it was also another video i didn't see the video when you know she got shot or whatever they got shot up but the cops was questioning her she was standing up with a bullet in her stomach they telling him she's four months pregnant she needs to lay down y'all need to get her to the hospital you stood there you questioned her for five minutes before y'all did anything with her mind you again she's standing up I was just like, who the fuck does shit like this? And then, you know, you got some people, they don't really care about the girl because they said, you know, I think either she got off the con, she ran, left the baby in there, or she had warrants or some shit like that. Bitch, I don't care. I don't care. It's all a fucked up situation. And, um, very unfortunate, you know. And it was another child who lost their life also and it's like now we want to start talking about it again because first we want to say oh we got a lot of crime that goes on out here in chicago whatever the nation nation you know you want to make jokes about it oh we shot back this and that and i'm like that's nothing to be fucking proud of okay and then all of a sudden when the nation really really want to get involved is when um you hear about a nine-year-old boy who was taken as revenge against his father in the back of an alley, put down on his knees, shot in the head execution style because gang related. Oh, everybody was in an uproar then. When they finally found the people, it was like, whatever, okay? It went back to business as usual. Now that these three kids are shot and killed, once again, we're in the outrage, we're in the uproar. How long is that gonna last? How long is that gonna last? The guy who killed the 11 year old girl, he turns himself in, um, but they still looking for the other people. And it was gang related, okay? Mind you, the boy that died and his um, two year old nephew, they said that he was already on a list, a watch list saying that he was either going to be killed or going to kill somebody. 
I just, it's so fucking irritating to discuss and to think about, given the fact that this is putting a negative connotation on Chicago. This is what we're being known for, okay? So all this violence and stuff that's going on, then we get upset when people want to come in and try to say or suggest what needs to be done and all this shit. Something needs to be done. Yeah, mind is fucking Donald Trump. Because Donald Trump ain't going to do shit but make shit worse, okay? That's what he's going to do. But it's just ridiculous, okay? It's beyond ridiculous. And it's like, how much more can we take? How much more violence, how much more death is it going to take for people to get it through their heads that they need to stop the fuck shit, okay? People don't value life no more. People don't know how to fight with their hands if you have an altercation. It's automatically, let's go get some guns, okay? People are pussy these days, if you ask me. And it's just ridiculous. It's beyond ridiculous, okay? And I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. You know, we got to hold ourselves accountable. Yes, we live in a broken system that was not made for African Americans. No, let me put that, take scratch that. That was not made for minorities, okay? Mostly African Americans and Latinos, okay? But we don't have to play into that system. We don't have to play into it. And that's all that people been doing. You want to use the excuse, well, I ain't got no job. They ain't got no jobs out here for me. I've been locked up. The man did this. The white man this. And, oh, this is unjust. But the white man didn't put that gun in your hand. You did. The white man didn't put that drug in your hand. You decided to get involved in this shit. Okay? You know? So, the white man didn't tell you to pull that trigger. You did. So quit blaming it on other and take accountability. That's the shit that I'm talking about. And then people want to get mad when you say stuff like that. Oh, but the system is broken. This systematic shit, institutional, girl, yeah, that's part of it. But that ain't the majority of it, okay? You cannot use that excuse on every single shit that happens, all right? We have to take accountability for our own actions, okay? We have to hold these motherfuckers who did this shit and who out here doing this shit accountable for their actions and stop blaming it on this system because if the system, the system can't be broken, like I said, but you ain't got to fucking play into it. There's many people that I know who are product of the hood or this ghetto life or, you know, that came from the projects or gang infested areas. And I don't see them going down the wrong path. They use that as motivation to get the fuck up out of there and to do right, not to succumb to their environments. But see, when you have young kids having kids these days, they all still kids. Kids are raising kids with that same fucked up mentality that they grew up with, you know? No one wants to listen. No one wants to talk, you know? And it's like, we have to do better as a community. And not just get outraged every once in a while, but continue to be outraged. Just like we went out there and protested for Black Lives Matter. We went out there protesting against Donald Trump. Bitch, go out there every fucking day and protest about the fucking violence that's going on in this goddamn city. Like, goddamn. It's so fucking irritating. So fucking irritating. Okay? While we out here worrying about this person, that person, let's put our monies together and, and build our own fucking community centers, okay? Build our own after school programs for these kids. You know? I just, and these parents, God damn, some of y'all have to do better. And I say some, because you'll be surprised to know. A lot of these kids that's out here doing this shit, they grew up in a fairly decent household, all right? They know right and wrong. Their parents taught them well, you know? But they chose their lifestyle. They chose the course of life that they wanted to take. 
you know and some of these other parents though they still in their life too so they teach them this bullshit and we got to break that fucking cycle you know fathers need to be in the household parents need to be aware of what's going on with their children <coughs> love your kids okay love them hug them tell them that they're worth more than this bullshit that they're doing or worth more than what we're seeing now because let me tell you something i know i just did this whole video going in about the perils of this fucking city the violence and shit but there's some good parts in chicago too there's some beautiful parts up in chicago i'll be walking around this neighborhood at my job houses on the whole block whereas you go to another neighborhood empty lots here empty lots there you know businesses run down and all that shit but then you go to another street it's booming it's booming put our money together get some more jobs out here build some shit for the community get these kids off the fucking street get these people off the street you know we need some real leaders some real leaders in this community that's what we lacking but i just wanted to put that out there <laughs> i'm tired y'all not from walking but <laughs> from this shit somebody gonna ask on the last video bitch why is it called why you always out here walking you can't drive bitch the title is called walking and talking so guess what I'm gonna walk and I'm gonna talk. Okay? There you go. Anyway, let me get up out of here so I can hurry up back. Um, I've been out here for a minute. One of these days, <laughs> one of these days, they're gonna be like, bitch, you can't go out no more, okay? Because we don't know what the fuck you be doing, okay? Bitch, I'm out here getting my exercise in, okay? I'm trying to live better. Fuck you, me. I'll see y'all later.